Is this how your electricity room looks? Well, if that's the case, then let me show you an easy battery backup circuit that'll keep your electrical room neat and keep your power on 24 seven. Before we get started, we're gonna need one OR switch, one splitter, one blocker, two electrical branches, five root combiners, and two counters. So now that we have all of our materials ready, make sure you have four windmills placed outside. It's necessary to have four windmills to make sure that the batteries stay charged. Now that we have our four windmills, we're gonna place three root combiners like this, and we're gonna go ahead, put the combined output to the next root combiner. Then we're gonna take the output and hook them up into each of these windmills so, now that we have all the windmills set up, our combined power output will be about 269, a maximum of 600. Each windmill output up to 150. Recommended that you place your windmills at least 7 to 8 frames high from the ground level to get a higher output. In this case, ground. Now the next step is to place one counter here and one counter there. This counter is going to be for your source and make sure you set it to show pass through. This counter is going to indicate how much power you have going out to your circuit. Now that we have our counters set up, then we're going to take the first counter we placed out to our windmills. Next step is to place two branches like this. Then we'll take the pass through from our first counter straight into our first branch and the branch out from the first branch down straight into our second counter. Now this right here, this branch is where you set the power for your circuit. I recommend not going over 300 because if you do, your batteries will not be able to handle the entire circuit. However, if you're finding that your windmills have a very high number of power output, raise that, raise this number to up to 600 to get additional power. Just know that when your windmills turn off and the power input is exceeded by necessary power you want here, your batteries will not be able to cover the room. That's why I like to keep this number at three. Next, we're going to take the power output here, move it up into the second branch. At this point, we can place our blocker, and we're going to take the branch out from the second branch, bring it down into the blocker. Now, what setting this up like this does Whenever this number we have set down here is higher than our windmill output, this branch out is going to have zero power, so we're no longer going to block this blocker. Now at this point we can place one splitter up here for our batteries to charge, and we'll place an OR switch here. Now you can take the power output from the second branch, bring it up to the splitter, these splitters go straight to your batteries like this. Essentially, all of the extra power from your windmills is going to go straight into charging your batteries. Now that's set up like that. And we're going to take the power output pass through from the second counter and take it straight into the OR switch. Then the next step is hook up two root combiners right here. I like to use green for my battery output. We'll take these straight into the power output of your batteries. Then we'll take the combined power output from your root combiners, which are hooked up to the batteries, counter. And finally, you'll hook up the power output from your blocker to put B, your OR switch. 
Now at this point, you notice how the batteries flip on and off based on your power output. Currently we have 330 coming from the windmills to the first counter. And we only have our circuit set up for 300 power, which is recommended. Now, if we were to take this number off of this first branch and set it to 500, notice that the windmills are going to turn off. The blocker is going to turn on, allowing pass through from the batteries. Now, if we were to hook up anything up here, for instance, a branch, we will hook up straight to this auto turret out here. Then we'll hook up four switch branch. Now we have power to our windmill. See right now, we have 298 power. The reason for that is the blocker and the OR switch, one power each. This is currently running off batteries indicated by this branch being off and green lights on blocker. Now if we set this to 14, we'll say, now it's gonna go back to our windmill power. Now you can see that each battery 76 going into the system. These are charging right now because we don't require more than 140 power to run our currency. That is essentially all that there is to this circuit. Very simple. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I can certainly answer those. I hope this circuit works out well for you. Watching and don't forget to subscribe.